When dealing with day-to-day -day stresses, it can be easy to become overwhelmed and not quite understand what's going on for us in that moment. Sometimes we act irrationally, and in these moments, we need to halt and check in with what's really going on. So today I'll be discussing HALT, a simple tool for checking in on us that we can use when we're feeling a little emotional. When you start getting emotional or even acting irrationally, it's important to HALT. Take a deep breath and start to consider what's going on for you emotionally. And with HALT as a check-in tool, we simply ask ourselves four questions to see whether what's going on is very simple before we start looking at complex explanations. So the first question to ask is, are you hungry? It's actually very common for people to become emotional when they haven't eaten. So much so that the term hangry, this idea of becoming angry when hungry is a commonly used term. So think about when did you last eat? And if you are hungry, is this an emotional hunger? Or is your body simply asking for food? If this is the case, it might be useful just to have a small snack and see if this makes it a lot easier to cope in this stressful situation. The next question to ask is, are you feeling angry? If something has maybe triggered you, either a person or an event, it's understandable that you might be feeling a level of anger and understanding what it is that's triggered you can help you diffuse it in a safe way. But what if it's a more complicated than that? Is there anything you're dealing with that's been very stressful lately that's made you feel overwhelmed? And do you think that's contributed to this anger? After all, when it comes to diffusing anger and finding ways to relax ourselves, it's very important to check in and think about what it is that could have triggered the situation. The next question to ask is, are you feeling lonely? The idea of loneliness can lead to a lot of sadness or people becoming withdrawn. But at the same time, it can lead to a lot of anger and lashing out at other people because you're feeling upset. So again, like we discussed with anger, it's important to understand the trigger of what's going on for you. So ask yourself, when did you last socialise? And was it a positive or negative experience? Because that can have an impact on how it's affecting you now. If you are starting to feel lonely, it's important to reach out to your social networks and let them help you whether it's them knowing and talking about what you're feeling or simply having someone there, this can make a massive difference for your emotional state. Finally, we ask, are you simply feeling tired? Burnout is really common when dealing with overwhelming situations and high level of emotional stress, but it can make you feel irritable and reduce the level of resilience you have for dealing with negative situations. So ask yourself, have you been getting enough rest? And have you been giving yourself enough breaks? If you start to feel overwhelmed and start to feel tired, it's really important to relax and give yourself that time to energize in order to build your resilience up to keep moving forward. So next time you start feeling emotional or overwhelmed in some way, it's important to take a deep breath and halt. Question if you're feeling hungry and need a snack in some way. Question if you are feeling angry at all and whether anything's triggering you in your environment. Question if you're feeling lonely and need to reach out to someone. Or question whether you're tired and simply need to take a break. Using HALT as a tool, you can check in with yourself and see what's going on for you emotionally and hopefully allow some insight in order to combat what's going on for you. Thank you for listening and hopefully this tool and the use of HALT can help you or other clients understand how to check in with themselves on a day-to-day -day basis.